Wappa! Hello my fellow YouTube, it's my name is Elfblade, and welcome back to another Clash of Clans with the Elfblade! This time I want to discuss some Town Hall 10 attacks on, of course, more Town Hall 10. So, in this one, I'm just going to cover some war attacks that we did, and they were actually some really good attacks. Uh, one of the attacks was really unique, it was like one golem and like 18 or 19 witches, and it just like steamrolled this guy. And the other attack was in one of my personal favorites, which was like a Go We Wipe, so that's golems, witches, wizards, and pekkas, hence the go, the we, the we, and the pee. I guess that'd be the wipe, but it's a lot of fun. It's really cool, and both of them get a good three, solid three star, and that's what's like really key, and we get to learn a lot from me. That's why I really like watching them. So let's go ahead and without further ado, dive into the first attack. All right, guys, again, this is Mario that we're going to be showcasing. He has a Town Hall 10 attack and another Town Hall 10. We can tell us, by the way, how many spells he has. He has five spells, and some of them are free, which you only get at Town Hall 10. This other Town Hall 10 that he is attacking, though, look at this. He's got like level six walls, these pink ones, level seven walls, these purple ones. He's got some level 8 walls. I mean, these are really weak walls. His defenses are at least Town Hall 9 besides his Wizard Tower. Those are Town Hall 8. Like, it's like kind of like he skipped Leg Day at the gym. You know, he just skipped Wizard Tower Day. Like, I don't know what the heck he's thinking that. He does have his Inferno Towers, though, and he's missing his third Expo. Uh, I want to say he's also potentially missing uh, an Archer Tower. And another cannon that you also get at Town Hall 10. So, anyways, that's all further aside. Let's go ahead and just dive into the attack and see how he goes. Remember, guys, this is a max witch attack with one golem. I want to say he drops from the north. You're going to drop? Hmm? There it is, right there. The golem comes out with a wizard. Archer gets picked off by that cannon. He's got two wizards coming out. The wizards aren't picked off on the other side. That's a little bit of an error. They need to get on the golem first. He needs to go ahead and clear out these outer sides of these buildings so that he can go ahead and do a quick, nice, strong funnel. Here comes the wall breakers. They crack open now like a freaking egg, Humpty Dumpty all over again. That golem goes ahead and detonates both of those double giant bombs. Here comes the poison spell. The poison spell is going to start attacking those CC troops that are coming out. Here comes a gigantic wave of witches. Look at all those witches. There's tons of skeletons coming in here. Look at this. They are just beating things down. There is no stopping them. That Inferno Tower is taking down that Golem, that Golem will go down in no minute, it wasn't, it was not targeting the Golem, wait, yes it was, it was, the Golem is small now, but those Wizards, they don't even care, here comes the Jump Spoon, that Barbarian King is smacking the Queens, backing them up, that multi Inferno down here, holy cow, I'm just wrecking all those little guys, but there are too many for it to keep up, even that solo one, here comes the first free spell of Zagaim, he's going ahead and go ahead and lock down those Inferno Towers, basically can't do anything while they're frozen, he drops the second one, but it was a mistake, Look, he messed up and didn't even get that Inferno Tower, but it doesn't matter because Inferno Tower is so focused on those skeletons and not going to do anything. That king did pop his ability, but he did go down, but he cleared that side. That queen is just in the background picking everything up. She doesn't even care what's going on. Those witches have not even been touched yet. Only the troops have, and each witch summons eight. If he had 19, then that times eight, that is an insane amount of challenges that are coming around. Look at this. They don't even care. He, we missed the lightning spell, but he did lightning spell this uh, mortar right here. He's going to go ahead and continue cleaning everything up there. There's nothing that was up to him. That cannon is shooting the Archer Queen, but he did pop the ability to get the cannon off of it. And she did take it out. It's like, blah, blah. Go ahead and clean this all up. Look at this. No one can stop this armada of skeletons. Like, this is like the army of the undead. There is no way to stop this. You have to kill those witches in order to stop the skeletons from coming. I don't even know there's any giant bombs left. There was one right there, but it only detonated a few of those skeletons. There are so much stuff. Look at that. There's more bombs over here going up, but they were just killing the skeletons. That queen is so uncontested, just doing whatever she wants. These witches are just summoning the army of the dead just like crazy over and over and over again. There's nothing they can do. Look at that. Look at how many there are. They're just tearing up that wall. Boom. Look at the wall. Those skeletons, they need to go ahead and get on that Wizard Tower, because that Wizard Tower is starting to kill and do damage to those witches, which is bad. Here we go. Now those skeletons are like, we have to save our queens. We've got murder them. So there we go. Those queens have now got some help there. That Archer Queen, she's just messing stuff up. These witches, they're just doing whatever they want. There's all the defenses. This is basically an attack that's almost over. I don't even think there's anything else that does clean up, but except in the bottom corner, basically. This was an awesome attack, guys. Like, mass witches. Who would have not thought that they would have just died. Like, I would have just thought, oh yeah, you know what, Matt switches, they're over, but 
they are incredible, especially with those free spells. They are needed to stop those uh, Inferno Towers from doing lots of damage. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this attack, because I sure did. On to the next one. Alright guys, this will be the second and last attack for this video. This time around, it is a Go Wee Wipe, which is personally one of my favorites, like I said earlier, where it basically is Golems, Witches, Wizards, and Pekkas. You know, and the idea behind this type of attack is you have to get a good funnel. Uh, the Pekkas need to go inside the base, not on the outside. If they go on the outside, you're losing a lot of your DPS, because they are massive hitters. The golems also got to go to the middle too because they're going to be soaking up a lot of the internal or the inside defenses and they're going to be protecting not only the P.E.K.K.A.s but your wizards, your witches, and your heroes. And that's basically about it. So let's go ahead and see how our number three does against that number four and watch him dominate. Play. What's going on here? Where are you attacking from? Oh! All right, the golems have been deployed. They're going to go start soaking up some a lot of that damage. Another golem over here. That golem probably should have been dropped maybe a little bit over here to kind of catch that uh, other arch tower down here, but he is going to do well. He's going to go ahead and start attacking. He did blow up those top uh, walls up there. The golems, which is more wall breakers, they're all coming out. The Pekkas, look, the Pekka did go on the outside, which is maybe bad, maybe good. You typically want to get all your Pekkas. He did get this Pekka inside here right now. Here comes the CC troops. The Inferno Tower is in range, and it is a single target. It is smashing that king. What happens with Inferno Towers is they their single, their single target mode, they do more damage over time, a lot faster and stronger, and they just get wicked deadly. But there's nothing he can do about it because he did freeze it and he stopped it for the time being. He is all out of spells, though. There comes the second freeze spell. I spoke a little bit too soon. His rage spells go ahead and he's got those wizard towers. Look at this. These wizards are just smashers up there. They're big, they're raged, and they're purple. That, wow, look at that. This thing just blew up right there. That's a wand breaker. I can't even keep up with what is going on. Over here in the top right, he's got to go ahead and Pekka Garden with this barbarian. He can go around cruising around picking up stuff, shooting some b-ball, you know, like the French Prince of Belair. We got this Archer Queen over here. She's going to take down the uh, town hall like nothing. Some stuff on the side here cleaning. They got a witch, some witches. Oh man, I get down towards it. That golem, they're picking up the uh, wind from the tower. Nothing else they can do. The Tesla, that is all remaining. That expo over here is going kind of hard. Look at that, he's just shooting the crap out of that Pekka, but that Pekka is like a tank. She's not as tanky as a golem, but she is doing a lot of tanking. And look at this, oh my god, her HP is not even really moving, that is awesome. And over here, while that expo is preoccupied, that golem, watch your queen and some wizards are going to go ahead and take it out. There's not much left here, there's only two cannon guards tower, and basically that's it for the base. He basically got in there and cleaned up real fast. And this is just going to be a holy solid, oh look at that, that spring trap did nothing, it just triggered the one skeleton. Skeleton went flying, but that was about it. Another bomb got triggered over here, which is good though, because now the reinforcement wizards are, or witches are coming in. And look at this, this golem is still alive from the very beginning. This is amazing how powerful golem level 5 is. But he is about to go down, he's about to blow up, boom, he's split into two. The Arch Queen doesn't care though, he's just gonna start picking his stuff up. These skeletons are now starting to tank everything because that golem, you know, look at this, the golem just punched him. Hey dude, you can punch this well. Yeah, you wanna punch that well? I'll punch punch too. They're just having a crazy little conversation over here, but this queen, she's like, you know, I don't have time to play games. I don't have time to have a crazy conversation about punching a wall. I just gotta shoot stuff and win this game, because we're gonna get that three star to win this war. All that's left here is, look at even this cannon can't keep up with these skeletons. They just keep coming in. He's just one shot at a time, taking out one, but she just keeps summoning more. The next thing to go down is this cannon with that archer tower, though. I mean, I'm sorry, that archer queen's taking him out. He goes ahead and pops that ability. He probably should have popped it earlier. He didn't really need to pop it then. Seemed like maybe he forgot about it, but that's all right. Going in and cleaning up that elixir storage, and he gains that three star. With our golem still, they just kind of poof right there, but they were still slow to bunch on that wall and having a great old time talking about it. Woo! Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. That was a little bit crazy. I got even got tongue twisted on that commentary. There was just a lot going on and a lot of different verbiage and words that were going out there. But hopefully you guys liked that. It was a little bit of a different uh, perspective on seeing a Go We Wipe on a Town Hall 10. Especially because I use Go We Wipes at Town Hall 9. I don't really get to ever see it on Infernal Towers. But you do need, I feel like, is a very crucial spell is that free spell. It is just awesome. You get to stop an Infernal Tower in its tracks. It can't do anything anymore to you while it's getting hammered on, which is way cool, especially because you get to drop a Rage spell to increase all your damage. You might even be able to drop a Jump spell and just jump right over that wall and right get to it. And the other attack, which just was like, I've never seen anything like that, just mass witches basically with one golem. Again, the key there was he needed free spells. I actually did try that same strategy on that base just for grins to see how it worked out on Tunnel 9. And without that free spell, you just get shredded by the Infernal Towers. There's nothing you can really do about it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Go ahead and let me know with a comment down below. Go ahead and hit that like button, share this video, and as always, don't forget to subscribe to become an off camera today. Reverse Wapa.